All right, hello everybody, uh, ABC Pwned here once again, and we are actually doing another tutorial for A Pirate's Tale on Roblox. Uh, today we're going to be doing the Hollowed Marshland Dungeon, and I'm going to show you guys quickly what all you need to do and how you could do it. So they just changed the dungeon up a little bit, I think a day ago, and they made it a little bit more difficult. So the things you're going to definitely want to get is you're going to want to buy a battle barge ship which I believe is 500 coins in the shop. You're going to want to get the large cut list, which I think is in the blacksmith or the general shop. And you're going to want to probably get a plus 50 HP potion. And then once you get all those things, you should be fine. You should just come over to ho our hollowed marshland. And you could actually just bring a fast ship. And there's actually a dock here, so you guys can just go talk to this dock master right here. And you could actually spawn the battle barge. Uh, one thing you want to make sure that is that you have a couple people here to help you because this is pretty difficult and you need to make sure you have a full supply of black powder so make sure you just come over here and you pay for it so that you could kill skeletons basically uh, they did change the mechanics around uh, before you were able to solo it, it was pretty easy, but I realized after I was recording a video, they actually changed it. So now we actually have to bring more people to do it. But all you need to do is you need to spawn your battle barge and then get on the battle barge. If I could get on, there we go. Alright, and now all we really need to do is go to the dungeon. So if you want the dungeon location, it's just in front of this little hut right here. <coughs> And then, uh, pretty much that's it, man. Um, you go into the dungeon, I guess. I mean, I'm not sure why Lanty isn't on his ship. Go on your ship, Lanty. Let's get him on his ship. Uh, if you bring multiple people with battle barges, that's better. So, you don't want all your people just on one ship. I'm not sure what they're doing here. Here, let me undeafen. Wait, did they shut it down? Is the server shut down? Oh, no, there we go. Alright, so Lanty's gonna get on his ship just like that. <coughs> there we go. Okay, so the location of the dungeon is actually kind of between these two uh, docks, I guess. You just keep going forward and you could go into the dungeon just like this. Make sure you guys bring at least... Uh, friend or two with you because this is somewhat difficult especially now how it is but yeah that's pretty much all you need you need the large cutlass you need the battle barge you need the plus 50 hp potion you don't really need that but i recommend you getting it since this part of the boss is act actually a lot harder than it used to be so we are actually in the dungeon now the first thing we always do is we stop right here and we take down the skeletons Lanty's just coming up. Uh, if you bring more than one person, make sure you all have bottle barges so you can all shoot the skeletons just so they die a lot faster. So you don't end up having to be in the dungeon for like 40 minutes like I was just soloing it by yourself. But yeah, uh, this game's pretty difficult, man. So uh, this might take you a couple tries to get through it, but you'll get better as time goes on, obviously. Pretty much all there is to this dungeon is killing the skeletons with the... Uh, there we go with the cannon and then going forward and not getting hit by that right there that geyser like the poison geyser I'm not sure what I oh god that thing's still alive I thought it was dead I thought Lanty killed it oh god we almost died there all right cool so that's the first part now we just need to kill this one we'll back up a tiny bit here just so it can't hit us but yeah you pretty much just take your time uh, you can skip some skeletons, but I wouldn't recommend it because you will probably end up dying to like the poison geysers. You'll see. But yeah, this is the first part. There's always a skeleton on the left and right hand side. You should easily just be able to take them out with ease with your cannon. Should be about one more shot here since Lanty's here. Oh, I think we both missed that. Alright, I'm not sure what that dude is doing. I don't even know who that is. Alright, for some reason it's not registering my hits. Let me go a little bit closer. There we go. Alright, so now you move on. You're going to see this uh, poison geyser thing right here. The main thing with these is they're basically like all the other geysers in the dungeon. You need to wait, and when they're glowing up, you need to stop and wait until they're no longer glowing up like that. And then you could go forward. You definitely do not want to get hit by these things because they do an absolute boatload amount of 
damage to your ship and to you. Oh god, we're, we just got hit. See, as you can see, we took a huge amount of damage here. So yeah, you mainly just want to avoid getting hit by them at all costs. Alright, so we are past that part. We're going to go ahead and wait here. Alright, now we can go forward. There should be some skeletons coming up around here. Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to get the precursor shield. Uh, that guy's making that video, that's funny. Alright, so now what I do is I usually stick to the right hand side, you don't need to go over there. Uh, just get close enough where you can shoot these two skeletons, you turn right here. And you could actually hit both of them if you kind of line up your shot in the middle, just like that. So you could actually get two for one, and you won't have to use as many uh, cannon shots as you normally would have to if you didn't shoot them both at the same time I guess I don't know but it is really um, really important that you do this with more than one person because they changed the dungeon around and it used to be able to solo really easily I actually thought that it's still gonna be easy to solo so I was halfway through the video and I got to the end and realized it was changed and it's just really really hard uh, you could also bring a cutlass or not a cutlass what's it called uh, a musket. You can bring a musket with you. It'll really help you for the boss battle t uh, part. You'll see. We'll get to it eventually. Alright, there we go. So now what I do is I skip this one. I skip this geyser. Don't even worry about it. And I just take a little cut right through here. Should be pretty easy to do so. Maybe turn, take out your lantern if you need to. I usually skip this skeleton on the left because it won't hit me. But I always get the two right there. So we're just going to take them down. I think my teammate's getting shot. So let's move back a little bit. There we go. So you don't need to worry about that geyser or that skeleton. You just need to make sure you don't go over there. And then you should be fine. So we're just going to take these two out right here. See Lanty's coming, which is good. He can help me uh, kill the skeletons. Am I like half health? No, I'm fine. I'm not sure why Lanty's rushing in. That That's really not smart. What he just did, you're not supposed to do. And if he dies, it's his fault for it. <laughs> Why would he do that? <laughs> Look at his health. Okay, let me unmute and scold him for that. Lanty, why would you do that? Because I'm fucking... I don't want to take... That was really stupid what Lanty did. I don't know. It's fine, though. Now we're going to have to do a two-man. Which is fine. I mean, as long as I have this other guy with me. So now we're going to take these two skeletons out almost down here I really don't know why he'd rush like that uh, if you're doing this definitely do not do what Lanty just did that was really stupid all right now we're gonna continue here we're gonna avoid this nice little uh, poison gas thing all right it's not we're not gonna get hit by it we're gonna stop about right where is it at right here oh god we might have got hit yeah we did rip went too far up all right, we're going to continue. At least, uh, if you have a friend with you, you should make sure he has the mallet so that he can actually repair your ship as you go. Just so that uh, if you do end up taking a hit, which you will, there's, it, it's really hard to get through this entire dungeon without taking a single hit. You can have your uh, friend just help patch up your ship and then you should be fine. All right, we're going to stop right here. I think we're fine. Yeah, we are. Okay, now we're going to go forward. And we're going to stop about right here. Actually, I don't think we need to really stop. Yeah, we could just keep going. Should be able to just keep going. Tell this guy to sit because he's actually making the ship kind of glitch out because he's not sitting. I don't know why he's holding his shield out. Alright, so that's pretty much just a bunch of geysers. Not too hard. Just uh, pretty straightforward. You just go when they're not on and you stop when they're on. So we're going to go right here. We're going to stop right here at this little island part. Oh god, we're not- Oh god, we're gonna get hit. I think we got hit. I- Yeah, we got hit a tiny bit, but that is what my friend is here for. I don't even know who this guy is, to be honest. But he's really helping. I don't know- He's helping more than Lanty did. I have no idea why Lanty would rush it like that. I mean, he should know better than to try and do that. Alright, so we're gonna keep going forward here. We're gonna skip this geyser. Uh, by the time we get up to this one, it's probably gonna turn off. So there's no real reason for us to really stop. Yeah, I was right. I'm not sure why this guy is trying to fix a fully health ship. I think he's actually lagging the ship out a little bit. Let me tell him to sit. There we go. Alright, we're going to stop right here. Actually, we do not need to stop either. We could just keep going. This guy's like making the ship glitch out because he's, <laughs> he's like, uh, he's just standing. 
Uh, hopefully he'll sit. Okay, we're going to go past this one. Oh, we're going to get hit a little bit here, which is completely fine. We'll just heal up. He'll heal the ship up. Just going to wait for this next one because I don't want to take damage twice. That would not be ideal. Okay, it should turn off in a second. There we go. And then you just keep going forward. Now we're past that part. We should be coming up on some more skeletons here. It's really painful that we don't have two battle barges since Lanty rushed. Yeah, I, I don't know why he would rush like that. Like that's It's obvious you don't rush at that part because if you rush at that part with two skeletons alive and the, and the toxic uh, geyser, you're going to die. So just make sure you do not do what Lanty did at, or you will probably suffer the same fate that he suffered. All right, we're going to wait right here. There we go. Okay, now we're going to keep going forward. Hopefully this guy has some potions. He's only like a level 10. I'm not sure if we'll be able to kill the boss. Uh, I'm going to try and give you guys some methods for the boss that I've learned. Then hopefully we'll be able to take it down with just two people. Like I said though, they did change it and they made it a lot more difficult than it uh, used to be. So you do want to do this with friends if you can possibly do it. I wouldn't recommend soloing this. I mean, it's possible. I'll show you a couple methods that you could use. But it's really... Oh, God, I forgot this part. Actually, let's back up. So usually at this part, I usually stop between here. And then I take a right. And then I kind of line myself up like this. Here, let me line myself up. This is going to take a little bit of effort. Make sure you do not touch that poison gas. There we go. We're almost lined up here. Just a little bit more. Just, there we go. Alright, cool. So what I do is I line myself up right here. Just make sure that you're not going to hit the poison gas if you do this technique. And then I just shoot at this skeleton right through this little hole right here. That way we don't have to worry about it when we actually keep going through. And it will not cause us any issues. This would be, a, like I said, this would be a lot easier if you had multiple people with multiple battle barges. So, the fact that Lanty died, it's just going to take us twice as long, which kind of sucks. But, I will be putting timestamps in the video so that you guys know which part is which. So that you don't have to sit here and watch the, me go through the whole dungeon. I mean, I guess uh, some people do want to see the whole dungeon just to understand, like how to go through the entire thing but for the people that just want the gist of it i'll put like uh just the main stuff and then the boss at the very end All right the skeleton should be a couple more hits here there we go now we're gonna keep going this gas should be gone by the time we get up there hopefully yes it is so what i usually do here is i park right between these two things Oh god, that guy's kind of lagging it out a little bit. I'm not sure what's happening with him. So I stop right here, and then I usually shoot these ones down. Uh, usually what I do with this one is I just shoot these two down, or right here, and I skip the one on the left. Uh, you do not need to skip them, though. It's recommended. I recommend that you don't skip any skeletons, or because you will probably end up dying. But, I mean, if you're on a time constraint and you need to get through this pretty quickly, this is what you could do. You could just shoot the two right here. I think that guy's actually DC'd, so I'm not sure what to do about that. Uh, we're going to have to probably try and solo the boss, which is really difficult. But, I mean, I'll show a couple methods of what I've learned from the boss. Just so that you guys can uh, somewhat kill it easier. Remember that all these skeletons that you kill do respawn, though. So, after they, re they respawn in like 5 minutes, so you need to make sure that you don't go too slow, but you don't go too fast. Like, you could take your time, but you can't take uh, too much time, if you know what I mean. Alright, so these skeletons should be almost down here. There we go. I was right. We're going to keep going. I'm actually going to wait. I'm going to kind of time this so that we could go at a good time. Alright, so normally you should kill that skeleton as well. But I'm actually going to be skipping that skeleton because I'm trying to cut down the time a tiny bit here. Oh god, I already got hit by that thing. All right, come on, come on, come on, turn off. All right, there we go. It turned off. Now we're going to keep going. We kind of got stuck there. Oh, no, we're stuck. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. And we're not going to get hit either. All right, we're good. Yeah, I think the guy was with DC'd, sadly, so it looks like I might have to be doing this by myself, which is not recommended. Like I said, you need people to do this with. 
but it's fine. Oh god, let's turn back a tiny bit. Oh, our ship is completely destroyed. Just make sure you bring a mallet for yourself. Oh god, that guy came back. What the hell? That guy is like lagging really, really hard. There we go. We'll go past that. We'll stay right here. Actually, we're going to keep going. This one's kind of hard to park yourself in. There we go. We're going to park right here. Actually, we can keep going. There we go. We'll keep going. We shouldn't get hit by this. No, we won't. All right. We're going to stop right here. Actually, we could keep going. Oh, yeah. This is the one you got to stop in between. All right. So what I do at this part, I usually park between these two geysers just like this. And then I shoot down that s those two skeletons right there. Just with the method I've already told you guys. Shoot kind of in between them so that you could get two with one shot. Just like that. That way they die faster and you don't have to deal with them. Alright, so there we go. There should There's like four skeletons in this next room. So this is probably the more trickier room out of every room. But as long as you guys take your time and do this efficiently like I am. Then you shouldn't have that much of an issue. The only real issue with this dungeon now is the do is the boss room. Since they made this boss room a lot more harder than it was before. But I mean if you have like five people with you. Three people at least. Then you should be completely fine. But we'll see how I could do with soloing it. If we cannot solo the boss and I end up dying, I could just chop it together where I do another run with people and we kill the boss. Alright, these skeletons should be about one more shot here. There we go. Are they both dead? No. You gotta make sure that they both die when you're shooting both of them because sometimes one might ne uh, need one extra shot just like that one did. Alright, so we're gonna wait for this... Uh, we're going to wait for this geyser to turn off. All right, so now we're going to go forward. And what I usually do here is I kind of just park myself right here where I'm not in the way of anywhere. I'm not in the place of anything that could hit me. And then I also just take these two skeletons out as well. By shooting at the middle of them, I could just take them both out at the same time and reserve some of my round shots. Uh, back... A couple days ago where the boss was at, you could kind of just like shoot the boss down with your cannon, which is why the Battle Barge was such a good uh, good ship for doing this dungeon. But sadly, they completely changed the dungeons around and you cannot do that anymore. But, I mean, the Battle Barge is still really ideal for this dungeon just because you could shoot down the skeletons and you won't have to actually run past them. Because this is, like, pretty much impossible to do unless you kill the skeletons. And it's pretty much impossible to do if you try and run through without a ship. And the Battle Barge is only, like, 500 gold, so that's not really that much. And you won't lose it unless it gets sunk. So just make sure you don't get sunk, which isn't too hard. You usually die before you get sunk, so... Alright, there we go. That's two of them. Now we're going to keep going forward here. So there is a skeleton at this part as well. But I usually just skip this uh, skeleton as well. Just because it's only one skeleton. And I, like I said, I kind of like making good time. Alright, so what I usually do is I just get hit by a skeleton once or twice. And I just use my shield potion here. Or not shield potion, my health potion. There we go. We're going to keep going here. Should turn off. Come on, turn off. There we go. Going to keep going here. Oh, we didn't even get hit. There we go. That was ideal. Uh, oh, we got hit there a tiny bit, I think. Oh, no, we didn't. All right, I'm going to actually wait for this one just because uh, this one always ends up hitting me just because I don't wait. I'm not sure if that AFK guy or that really laggy guy is like lagging out my ship or something, but he keeps like coming back. Oh, God. I think we got hit just a tiny... Oh, God, we got hit a lot there. Which is completely fine, because we're pretty much at the end anyways. Well, not the end. Oh, that guy came back again. I don't know what the hell. This guy is, like, so laggy that he just, like, disappears because of the lag. And then just whenever he gets back up, he reappears. I don't know. All right, so we're going to go through the geyser part here. We're going to stop right here. Actually, we don't really need to stop since we got good timing on the geyser. Oh, God. Yeah, I think this guy might actually be lagging out my ship just a tiny bit because it seems like it's going slower. I'm not sure. But that's not really that much of an issue. I mean, if you take your time with the geyser, his even lag won't be that much of an issue for you. Right, so we are now at these two geysers. That's actually at the end, I think. We're actually at the boss already. Just going to wait for this geyser to show up here. 
Okay, we're going to wait for it to turn off, and we're going to go park between it, or we could just run through it, but I don't want to just because I feel like we're going to get hit, because something's wrong with this guy's internet or something, and it's causing the ship to kind of have an issue. Alright, and then we're going to go, and then you're going to find this uh, doorway. This is actually the new thing they changed with the dungeons, and you actually have to ditch your ship, which actually kind of sucks. So what I recommend you do now is you actually pull out the plus 50 HP, you drink that up, and you could, uh, if you have a musket, put it on your sidebar as well as your weapon, just like this. Alright, and now we go fight the boss. So usually what I do is I use a musket. Here we go. Where's my musket at here? Is my musket disappeared? Oh no, it's because I have the wrong thing equipped. Uh, Blunderbuss, there we go. And I usually just uh, shoot down the first skeleton here. I think we've already killed it though. Luckily we have a lot of people, so it's not that difficult to actually do this boss. So yeah, basically we just got inside. Now all we really have to do is bring the boss towards us. You definitely need to do this with more people now that they changed it around. And you can't just run through it as fast as you used to be able to. But that's not too much of an issue. Just bring a crew of some people that you play with. And then as long as you're able to get through, you should be completely fine at this. Alright, so we have the boss here now, so now we just have to fight it. I'm just going to use the Inferno Sword since the uh, large cutlass actually got nerfed. And the Inferno Sword is actually pretty good just because it swings so fast. Hopefully these other guys help us attack the boss though. The boss is actually really low already. This is why it's like parative or really important that you guys bring more people and try not to solo this dungeon. Because you definitely cannot solo the dungeon like you used to be able to since they changed it all around. Alright, the boss is pretty much almost dead already. That's really fast. Just gonna drink a potion here, although we don't really need to. It's best to bring like people that have shields. Oh, and also, uh, if you manage to like, if you manage to have like 10 people with you or 5 plus people, you could actually just throw, go through the entire dungeon. Kind of not like how I did and just have them all hold their shields. And just like that, it's pretty easy as well. So if you're doing this with like 5 or so people, you're just wanna, gonna want to hold your shields here. Uh, hold R just so that you can't take any big hits here. Just run right through them. And then all you need to do is press this chest right here and that's it you've completed the marshlands dungeon but yeah if you have like five plus people you could just have them all on the battle barge just all defending with shields and you should be good you shouldn't get hit as long as your driver knows how to go through the spewing things so that you don't get killed but yeah guys that's pretty much it that's the hollowed marshlands dungeon and i hope that i gave you guys some helpful tips but until then uh, it's abc pwned and i'll see you guys later